Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrofil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yaumiddin. Sobat. So, hello everyone. How are you going today? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Very good. Alhamdulillah. So, in this moment I'm gonna share a little bit about simple present in presentation. Is it okay? Does it look good? I mean, you can look it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's good. okay. So we are gonna talk about simple present in presentation. Next. So what is simple present? Maybe one of you know what is it? One of you. What? What are we doing now? What we, are we doing now? Yeah. So, okay. okay, that's a great question, a great answer actually. So basically what is simple present? Simple present is a tense, tense of a verb, which describes what you are doing or what's your habit or fact. So for example, I teach my students every Friday. Teach is simple present. Okay, got it. So uh, you know, right? Verbs has verbs have several forms, right? So teach, for example, teach has. <coughs> Another forms like talk for past simple past and south to for past participant, right? Okay. So we're going to the next question. Well, when will simple present be used? As I said, simple present is used when you want to say that oh i am just i just eat three times a day okay or maybe someone asks you mm, how is it going i'm good i'm good is actually a simple present can you define can you identify which is the verb from I'm good. I am good. The M. The M. The good name. The good. That's a great answer. But I'm gonna explain. So I'm good. It's actually the M is the verb. So M is a verb. And good is an adjective. And M is in simple present form. So basically, you are saying that you are now doing good, right? Oh yeah. So there's there are also another different. <coughs> if I say I'm good and I'm doing good, I'm doing good is not simple present. M when there is a verb after M or we, we say to be right doing is in present continuous form we are gonna talk about that later but for now we're gonna focus in simple present okay okay so when will simple present be used it it will be used in habit when you wanna say your habit as I say or the condition for example I am good and the fact for example Earth is a planet on Milky Way galaxy that's a fact right ah. so we're gonna use simple present in that sentence okay moving to the next slide so I'm gonna tell more examples in daily activities. So, 
You're gonna talk English in your daily activities, right? So I'm. You have you all have learned English, so I think you can give an example or more. Maybe some of you can give an example of simple present in daily activities. I am doing my tasks. Uh, we are gonna talk about that later. So, another answer, maybe? Roti O is delicious. Roti O is delicious. That's great. <laughs> the view is wonderful. Yeah, the view is wonderful. So, simple present isn't used to describe like the current activity like what you are doing right now it's it, if you wanna talk about that it will it will use present continuous yeah. so about what did you say um, i'm doing i'm doing tasks so i'm doing tasks is actually present continuous so after to be, there is doing, which is uh, present continuous. Okay. Okay. So that are the examples. The view is good. Indonesia is a superpower country. <laughs> yeah, that's a great example too. So, so the view. It's wonderful. It's a fact, right? Yes. It's a fact. So we uh, we will use simple present in that sentence. Indonesia is a super super power country. Is yeah. It's also maybe a fact, but we are gonna say that as a fact. So that also use simple present. Okay, now we are gonna back to the main main topic. Simple present in presentation. So when do do we use it in presentation? In presentation, you maybe wanna talk about about your what have you done? For example, projects. Maybe you wanna describe your. What projects have you done in your presentation? So we are gonna use it like this. For example, I have a here we ha have Eden mengajar project, right? Uh, for example, I wanna say that the the Eden mengajar will consist of five members for example so there will be myself Basha, Anto, Yahdi and Rafi for example ah, consist is a simple present because we are gonna we are describing a fact here the fact that the team of Aiden Ngajar will be consisted in five members right another example hmm. so maybe we also want to describe when did we start our project for example or when the project is gonna be held for example, the Aiden Mengajar will be held maybe two weeks later. So maybe in the presentation I will gonna say the Aiden Mengajar will be is held no. The Aiden Mengajar start in 
two weeks for example nah, that's not a reason maybe any question here or maybe some of you haven't got it haven't understood understand what I just say so all of you have under, understood what I have said that's great <laughs> okay so oh yeah I forgot the examples but I have said the examples right <laughs> yeah I forgot this slide but I have explained so Alhamdulillah so thank you everyone for for paying attention to this topic I will see you maybe in the next in the next topic thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh